Morning gang, it's Jay, and this morning we are going over battle belts. Uh, I've done a couple of videos in the past on battle belts, uh, one quite a few years ago on the very first one that I had put together. Um, check it out down there. And then uh, a couple years ago I had totally revisited it and uh, redone it up, really slimmed it down, super low profile, and this is what I came up with here. But now I've been itching to put together another one, just putting together some of the lessons I learned from the first one and the second one and kind of combining the two into really a more of a universal uh, belt kit that can, uh, whether it's patrolling in the woods, um, something to keep as a, as a go belt in the car, um, or something for when, you know, when everything goes down, that uh, something for the... Uh, the uh, armed citizen and uh, and modern Minuteman to uh, to be able to put on and at least have his initial um, workstation put together for um, for being out and about to take care of his needs. So uh, we're going to do a tabletop review. I know a lot of you guys have requested that in the past on uh, on different items. So uh, I'm trying to do a better job of that. But anyways, um, you know, quick look around on it. For you can see just the overall layout. And then, um, yeah, put it down on the table and uh, go through it and show you what I did and why I like it. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, so for the layout of the battle belt here, um, going through it, I'm going to just go through from one side to the other on how I have it set up. And to just kind of explain as I go through it what I like about it and why I did what I did. Uh, first and foremost, the belt itself. It's made by a small company called Tacticon. It's a small veteran-owned company. They, um, they really only make one product, and it's a specific belt here. But it is a 2-inch battle belt that has laser-cut molly to it. I don't know how well you can see that there. And uh, one thing that I like about it is it's not your traditional pass-through belt with a, uh, with a padded cover to it. But this one here, the pad actually just Velcros right off. So it has that rubber grip on the inside. You have the hook Velcro on the pad itself, and then the loop Velcro on the belt. So if you wear an inner belt on your pants, um, it's real easy just to pop that whole pop that whole um, pad off and Velcro it to your existing inner belt that you're wearing for your uh, everyday carry, and boom, off you go. So I like that feature a lot on it. Real quick and simple. The other thing I like about this specific belt is we are upgrading from my old belts to a Cobra buckle, which um, my past belts, they have had just a standard 2-inch uh, fast text buckle on it, and there is, um, I did have a failure uh, not too long ago, and that definitely uh, sealed the deal for upgrading to the uh, Cobra buckles for that extra security there. But anyways, um... Those belts are really nice, gives you a lot of options as far as mounting ability goes on it, and it is fully adjustable. So as we work our way through, I carry, I keep a small carabiner on my belt, great for hanging ear pro, gloves, um, whatever you might possibly need it for, but I think having a carabiner for attaching something quick is nice and handy. Next to it, we have a double mag pouch. Double mag pouch is made by Miltech. It's a pistol mag pouch. And on this specific one, you can see I keep a Leatherman tool in one pouch. I think it's really important to keep some sort of a multi-tool on your person. You know, after all, your battle belt is your workstation or your initial workstation. So you never know when you need a pair of pliers, wire cutters, um, a hole punch, uh, anything for that matter. And, uh, you know, screwdriver, things like that. So it definitely comes in handy. I think everyone should carry one on their person. And then keep a reload for my sidearm there. So they do have Velcro covers on them. Those Velcro covers are removable. There is good retention without without the cover on it. But um, I think if you're crawling around, jumping around, climbing around, I think having a little bit of extra security uh, it certainly doesn't hurt things. Next to that, this is all on my wear, uh, all on my right, um, or on my left. My wear is left. Then I keep a, a rifle mag pouch. This is just a, a single mag pouch made by Tasmanian Tiger. 
I like the fact that it's a little bit of a deeper pouch. I know a lot of them today seem to be going shorter and shorter with increased retention. Once again, for this particular setup here, I still wanted to go with something that had a little bit of extra security with a with an elastic keep or two it there. I like that. Um, this fits both AR mags, AK mags. Um, I think it's nice. I like keeping you know that single reload on my belt line there, just to keep it uh keep it light and simple there. Next to that, and this is something I've been working on a lot lately, is um, medical kits. I've been uh, piecing together more and more kits for all of our pieces of gear, all of our bags, for the kids, for pass out bags, things like that. And um, so I've been taking these double AR mag pouches. These, this specific one is made by Miltech once again, and um, I make these cool inserts for them. So big thick flap to it put this down so you guys can see these kits just pull right out and you have whatever your uh, your specific uh, needs are in there I, you know keep it loaded up you can keep your trauma bandages in there your um, rolled up gauze you can keep boo-boo kits uh, chest seals whatever it may be um, in there so it's all at the ready there and it has a nice little pull handle to it, so you can just pull it right out when you need it. So I can reach around with both my right hand and my left hand and grab it. And then I keep a tourniquet on the side there and a Sharpie. Pretty uh, pretty basic and simple. I think everybody, everybody has med kits, obviously. And I think it's all a matter of how you set yours up, how you like them. And, um, you know, once again, for your own needs. You know, if you're going to carry... Obviously, if you're going to carry a firearm, you should be prepared to plug holes created by a firearm, and you should obviously seek the proper training for it, but I like keeping that on there. It's, it's fairly low profile. I know the uh, big trend today is the, 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 um, the smaller sideways um, facing ones that you can pull out from the side. You know, I mean, it's, a, it, it's your own decision there. They all work. It's all just different, uh, different ways of doing the same thing. Something that I'm a big fan of here, when um, on any of my kits, I like keeping some sort of a general purpose pouch, whether it's for keeping, you know, cliff bars, um, you know, extra first aid stuff, keeping tools, uh, maps, compasses, things like that. Uh, this here is just a, a standard GP pouch made by Voodoo Tactical. Um, just have a little bit of molly across the front. I added some elastic to the front to it as well, just for quick stashing of maybe, you know, like a poncho, basically. Um, on the inside, you know, I keep kind of your basics here. I have some spare cordage. I keep a notepad and a pencil for taking notes or making quick drawings of things. Keep a fire kit. I have an emergency blanket inside of there. Keep a glow stick. Keep a a monocular in there you know some people if you have a pair of um you know small binoculars that fits in there as well but you can see that the uh you know the theme kind of there is you know emergency overnighter with the space blanket or for signaling purposes you know as far as being able to reflective surface for being able to um, attract somebody's attention if you want their attention or you can use it as a casualty blanket or a makeshift tarp shelter for an unplanned night out uh, you know, the monocular and your and your notebook for taking notes on things, for looking ahead, um, trying to identify things, um, friend, foe, danger, whatnot. Um, I think that makes a, uh, uh, that's an important thing to have. Spare cordage, you never know when you need cordage. Extra light for marking a location or, um, you know, uh, for lower visibility, uh, nighttime uses for medical needs. And then a fire kit, you know, once again, safety, warmth, signaling, so on and so forth. So all of that makes a uh, makes a big difference there. But I like keeping all those things in my general purpose pouch fairly uh, fairly basic. I can access it all while I'm wearing it, so I, I like having that. As we get further along here, I've been on the hunt for some sort of a combat-specific knife, something to keep on my battle belt. And uh, we all have bushcraft knives. We all have um, general purpose camp knives. Um, you know, your old classic, you know, pilot survival knife, your bolt knives, K-bars, whatever it may be. So I was on the lookout long and hard for that. 
I wanted something in a Kydex sheath that could be easily taken off or put on, but um, I ended up finding this knife from Holy Edge. It is their Combat Tanto knife. Um, I don't know if that's the actual name of it or not, but that's what I'm calling it. And um, it's a big, beefy knife. It uh, weighs just over 13 ounces, so it's heavy duty. It has a larger grip to it, so if you're wearing gloves, wet hands, whatnot, it definitely is going to uh, accommodate those uh, the larger hands, larger gloves. Real thick spine to it. It's a quarter inch spine, so it's a, it's a thick, beefy knife. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, if you need a makeshift pry bar for door hinges, if you need to, you know, you're trying to pop open a window maybe, or, um, you know, your unspeakable dirty deeds, that uh, it's definitely a knife that will uh, take a beating and uh, put on a beating there. So that's that. Holster. Um, I went back and forth with holsters. I have Kydex holsters on, um, on my other two belts. And I really, but the problem with that for me was it was very um, sidearm specific. So I wanted something that was going to accommodate multiple sidearms, whether you have a laser, a light, whether it's a full size, um, compact, subcompact, what have you. Uh, and the best thing that I could come up with out there was the, uh, from One Tigress. It is their, um, uh, I'm trying to remember, it's their lightweight holster, I believe is the name of it. But here you can see, I mean, I just have a, my normal concealed carry sidearm there, subcompact, um, 12 round magazine. So it fits in there great, no problem at all. Then one of the cool things with this is the way that it works for being a one-size-fit-all deal is this burrito shell design. Who doesn't like a burrito? And um, it has a height adjustment to it, so depending upon the sidearm that you're using, you can raise or lower that depending upon the length of the weapon. And you can tell from the space that's in here, it will accommodate whether it's a light, a laser that's on it, what have you. Um, as you fold it, this is how you create your retention to it. To it. So just that alone creates a bit of tension where your sidearm isn't going to come out. They also keep a Velcro keeper on top for doing that that you can actually undo with your thumb. So that's nice. It's, it's simple. And then you just secure it all with the Velcro straps. And away you go. So a little bit more secure, um, especially if you're in a situation where somebody maybe is, is grabbing for your sidearm, um, or once again, climbing, jumping, crawling, whatever it may be. Um, it gives you a lot more security there, so I like that. And then I, I made a drop hanger for it. Uh, just took an old, um, just a hanger off of the old uh, knife sheath that I wasn't using that I was able to rig up with some cordage and um, hook it onto the holster itself so that way it does drop the handle below the belt line so a little bit more of a natural draw motion but also if you're wearing a chest rig body armor backpack it um it, it drops it out of the way of any straps or material so it uh you know keeps it keeps it uh, uh in a better place for being able to to grab it and then last but not least just have a single um pistol mag pouch this one's made by spanker tactical and um, it's just your traditional bungee. It's kind of a knockoff of the taco um, pouches or mag holders. And uh, you have a bungee retention to it. And then I just, I went back and forth with lights. I had a, a low powered flashlight in there, something smaller with a plastic shell. And I really wanted something a lot heavier duty. So um, I keep one of my O lights in there. This happens to be the, the seeker too. Throws off a ton of light. Um, and it's a uh, quite a bit beefier, so I figured that um, you know being able to have being able to have light on my belt line would make a huge difference there. But um, anyways, that is my new belt kit. So uh, if you guys have questions, um, ideas, whatnot, certainly put them down below in the comment section. I always appreciate your guys' feedback on things and. Uh, and hope that you guys, you know, maybe take away something from it as well. Wow. Um, yeah, that's all I got. So you guys take care. Keep getting out there. Keep training. Keep uh, keep paying attention to what's going on around you. And uh, keep talking to people. Um, you know, the more people we can get, uh, you know, understanding 
what we're doing and uh, and to help and uh, and on our side the better off we're going to be in the long run there so once again you guys take care keep getting out there and we'll talk to you soon thanks